This is Bet Racing Nation on YouTube, part of Sports Tonight Live. These are the races that we've not been able to cover in our hour show because basically we haven't got enough time. So we are going to cover a maiden. We've got a guru of maidens. Evening. Uh, Tom Marriott. Tommy's tips. Hashtag Tommy's <laughs> tips. Um, the 350, the Saki EBF maiden stakes won last year by Seek again. Yep. Um, should we talk about the Haggis Fallon partnership and yeah. the likely favourite? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, Haggis has got three in the race. And it's quite hard to sort of tell which one is his first string. Um, but you'd say, I think George Baker's on one of them. Uh, Dale O'Neill might pick up the rod on another. And then mm. you've got Kieran Fallon jumps on one of them. And he jumps on the horse that's come second by a neck uh, previously to a horse. And I'll give a shout out to my local pub here because he came second to a horse called the Barley Mo. Oh, right, OK. Uh, which is actually a pretty useful, useful cult trained by um, Richard Hannon. You know, obviously, you know, pretty good with his two-year-old. So he was second to that by a neck. Um, Fallon now takes the ride, and uh, yeah, I, I think he'll. Um, I, I mean, it's the first ride, Fallon, for the for the owners. Does it worry you that Fallon hasn't ridden that many two-year-olds for William Haggis, or certainly hasn't got a great strike rate? No, not at all. I mean, you know, Fallon, somebody who's just been, for me, jump jumping up and down the country, you know, picking up rides for whatever trainer, whatever owner, where he can. You know, that he, he's not a person that's got strong links um, with certain owners and, and certain trainers, but certainly when he does jump on a Haggis, you know. You, for me, you can tell that's his first string. And not, not only uh, the horse has got a bit of quality, m mark of 91, bound to improve. Yeah. Still entered in for the Racing Post Trophy. Yeah. Entered in for the um, 2,000 Guineas in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. So they must think quite a lot of this horse. Yeah, so I don't think seven furlongs obviously going to be a problem. He might even be better for a mile as well. Yeah, absolutely. Michael Stout has a, a, a newbie. Yeah, Michael Stout's a got uh, two. Yeah, two. Both of them uh, entered into the derby uh, next year's English derby. But... Uh, the one that stands out for me for the seven furlong trip, I mean, I would prefer it if he was racing over a mile on his first up, but for the seven furlong trip, out of the two stout newcomers will be Toolship, um, bred by See the Stars. Um, Who's doing really well this season. He's do, yeah, he's doing pretty well yeah. this season. Um, and subsequently, you know, he's, this tool, Toolship is related to uh, two winners. Um, you know, he's probably, as I say, I'd prefer him starting at a mile because you do see these See the Stars Colts finishing a little bit late in their run, but uh, yeah, seven furlongs. You know, if he's sharp enough, he'll certainly be there, and you might get you know a bit of six to one, five to one on him. There's also uh, Roger Varian trained, ridden by Paul Hannigan, um, Baraz, Baraz, more of a long term, but and he's ended up again, I think, for 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 the Racing Post Trophy. Yeah, I might I, be wrong, but yeah, no, I'm, I, I, no, it is, it is entered into the Post Trophy, and I like at the moment. I like the Roger Varian horses. Uh, you know, they they are doing well, but. Bred by hard spun, you know. I think he will want will want a little further, and for me, I'm going to I'm going to keep away from him. In fact, you okay. know, I'd, I'd say stick. Any, any mentions of any race. others? Um, a couple. Um, man, man, a man amongst men. Uh, if I get that proper. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. You like that? I mean, finish behind Kingman, who's who's a favourite. Thirteen for, lengths for the Guineas. Nick. Thirteen yeah. lengths behind Kingman, and you know, yeah. something might have not gone right on that day. Absolutely. He was two to one. He was well fancy. Yeah. You know, I think. Back I think it's the also the fact that Brian me in second time out, you expect the horse to improve. It's obviously had its problems, but to come back, I mean, it might be value each way. Yeah, obviously back at the yard, you know, they fancy it. You, you can't go from, you know, having a horse as short as two to one that finishes behind Kingman. No. And, and then, you know, I wouldn't say he's going to run a shocker. He's got the experience in the bag, but Brian Meehan, one winner in the whole of September. You know, the yeah, statistics aren't really in, in favour. OK, so um, moments. If I was to mention one more. Yeah, and uh, if you're starting to follow me now, you might get the idea that I'm a sucker for a Clive <laughs> Britton, Saeed Manana, James Doyle jumps aboard if Ricker, and I think he'll be around 25 to one. Um, he's got a bit of experience, came fourth on debut, be there or thereabouts. Okay, so what is your selection? My selection is Hoof Ten, and the newcomer to back each way. If there's a price on it, it would be Tool Ship. Okay, the selection there is uh, Hoof Ten. I hope I pronounced that right. You are watching Bet Racing Nation on YouTube, part of Sports Tonight Live.